everybody, how are you? This is Leslie from Leslie's Creative Studio, and I am recording late for my creative year, February 2019. And yes, this video is a little bit late coming up uh, onto the site, but unfortunately, I had some unforeseen technical difficulties, and the video that I did recording the process has been destroyed. That's the way technology works for you sometimes. So I'm going to walk you through the process of what I did. I'm very disappointed because first off, I'm just going to tell you this is one of my favorite journal pages that I have ever done for my creative year. And I really wanted to show how I created this. And unfortunately, some of the, some of the pieces that I used, I only had one of. So it's going to be very, it was going to be very difficult to recreate. So I thought I would just walk you through the process of what I did. I started out with a sheet just like this. This is um, by Canson. It is, um, I think it's 140 pound. Yes, it is 140 pound watercolor paper. Um, I do all my pages on this and then I glue them into, um, what are they called? A journal. <laughs> Not, they're not really journals. I make them into journals, um, but they're notebooks, basically. Um, the name is escaping me. It's, it's late in the evening, and I'm tired, so some of my words may escape me, so I apologize. But this is what I started with, and then what I would use. I did not just on my page. I then used bubble wrap. That's right, bubble wrap. And... I used carbon black and burnt umber together. I just put two little pools of it into my um, palette. And then I just used, just like this, I would pick it up and I would dab it. And then once I got it pretty good, I actually did a bit of a swirling motion with my bubble wrap. And it actually added a really neat texture to it. It was so cool. It really turned out neat. So then I dried that with my heat gun. And I'll bring that out to you. This is a new gift to myself. It's the Ranger Heat It Craft Tool. Love it. I will link it in the description. So then after that dried, I went back with the burnt umber. And then put a little bit more of that just to bring that color up a little bit. Okay, so then after that dried, I came in with Vermilion by Deco Art. These are um, fluid acrylics, by the way, um, in the Deco Art Media line. So then I did the same thing. I put a little bit of this on my palette, and I did clean off my bubble wrap a little bit just so as to not contaminate it too much. Went in with the Vermilion and just randomly put spots on the page. And then I came in with, oh no, I'm sorry. Before I came in with the vermilion, I went came in with the burnt sienna, I apologize. And this is by Golden. And it is also a liquid acrylic. So I did that because it's a little bit lighter, as you can tell by this. Um, so I came in with this and put it down on top of the um, black and burnt umber. So it was black and burnt umber, and then it was the burnt sienna. And then I came in with the vermilion, which is orangish. It's a, it's a, it's not quite orange. It's kind of like a, um, I can't think of the name of it. It's just a, not quite pumpkin, but I just, I love this color. It looks a lot like rust. <laughs> I came in with my vermilion and put that down. And then I came in with my Quinn Gold. Okay. Shake that up. And then I put that down just to kind of tone the um, the vermilion down a little bit, toned that down. Okay, then 
I'm getting all these paints out of the way here. Then what I did, I dried it. And then on my palette, I put Americana paint. I used titanium white and sea breeze. And I believe, and these should be both available in, um, a, you can get a pack of um, paint. Um, anyway, it's a kit of paint. And this is my favorite. I've gone through so many of these things. I just love it. But when you put the two of these together, they just add almost a patina effect. So I mix these up on my palette. I then took this. This is actually, um, you put it underneath carpet to keep it from skidding, from moving. So I then took this, I put it in my palette that had my paint on it, and then I just dotted it and dabbed it and dabbed it and dotted it, just like that. So that is how I did that, and I'm looking for one other piece. I'll be right back. Okay, so after I was done with this, of course, I dry in between each layer. And remember, part of mixed media is layers. You want to layer each, each thing that you do. Um, for me, I find it easier to dry it than add a new layer on top of it, especially if I don't want my colors to mix. I really don't want to make mud unless that's what I'm going for. So that's what I use there. Then I took my tissue paper. This tissue paper is an old, it's a dress, it's a dress um, pattern. It's tissue. Why not use it? It goes down like anything else. It's vintage. It's so cool. It adds the greatest effect, effects. So I put that down and I used my Deco Art matte medium to apply that with just a brush. Um, just applied the brush and laid it down. The other thing I used, if I can find, I thought I had an extra one here. Anyway, I added down the side right here, numbers. Um, that were on tissue by um, Tim Holtz. So that I also put down and applied with matte medium. Now the other piece that I'm going to show you, um, and actually I'm going to bring the piece out, uh, was applied onto this using matte medium. It was white when I got it, and it was... It was painted with the Deco Art Traditions Carbon Black. So that got two coats on that to give it a really good color black. And then once again, I used the matte medium by Deco Art to apply it and adhere it to my page. And I'll show you what it is I adhered. Um, another part that's going to be that you will see. Um, has been hand sewn and then glued on. So let me bring that out here for you. Here it is. This here, this is by Seven Gypsies. It's the tall base dress form. It is white. When I got it, I painted it black. Here's the uh, numbers here by Tim Holtz. Hence the name figures, and also because she's a figure. I took a lace, part of a, I cut up part of a lace uh, tablecloth that was gifted to me, gifted to me by my um, son's girlfriend, who found it at a thrift shop. And she's like, oh, Leslie just needs to have it. And she's right, Leslie did need to have it. So I cut that up and put it down. And then I just took random ribbon from my stash and put that there. And then I put these beautiful little rosettes here. I don't know if you can see how cute those turned out. But this is what I have, and this is how it turned out. I'm so excited. I hope you really enjoyed this. Um, like I said, this is one of my favorite pages I have done. Um, it kind of reminds me of steampunk. 
I think it turned out fantastic. I hope that this in some way inspires you to do something creative in any way, shape, or form. I hope that um, you know it brings you some joy. And like I said, um, I just hope it inspires you to do something creative and have fun with it. So I'm going to go ahead and end here. Um, and as always, I'm asking you very kindly, please be nice to one another. It's really, really not that difficult. And this is the last day of February. I'm going to try and get this up before it's um, March 1st. So I need to get this up tonight. So have a good day. Have a good rest of your week. And I will see you later. Thanks. Have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.